what is going on guys okay this time it is officially the first time you guys have seen my face on the channel i just recorded a different uh tutorial and uh i'm gonna post that one first because i said all the stuff about how i'm gonna be posting tutorials so that one went up first and i know i said um that you guys were seeing me but I actually forgot to hit record on the camera. So this is actually gonna be the first tutorial that I'm gonna have the camera in there while I'm doing this, just cause I feel like it's more interactive and we're just trying it out. So trying things out for the channel, channel trying things out for the channel. Um, 2020, we are about to, uh, about to uh, turn up. But yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make boring footage with no movement a little bit better and if it does have movement you can try it and you know it does look better and that is the camera shake this is also seen in some music videos i know cole bennett does it um so yeah um let's hop right into it you're gonna need after effects for this and premiere pro so yeah guys let's get straight into it so you i have my two clips here as you can see so this one is our one I already used for After Effects. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's this bouncing, it kind of makes this clip bounce. So we're faking this kind of movement like this, like kind of walking. So we're faking that movement, as you can see here. I really exaggerated on this clip and you can choose how much of the bounce you want. So as you can see here, you know, it's moving around. But this clip was shot the same way this one was. You see, it's got no bounce. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's gonna be really fast and easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit replace with After Effects composition. Then once you do that, we're gonna wait for After Effects to open up. And we're gonna do a little bit of coding, but it's easy. And I'm gonna show you guys um, some of the things that a lot of people skipped whenever I was trying to learn this. So when you do this, you know, you wanna do a new project. I'm just gonna name it tutorial for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so once you have your clip in here, um, you know, it's already scaled. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that this clip is selected and you wanna be in the composition. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna hit the, the key P on your, keyboard so this is gonna come up and in my tutorial that I watched they just said to hit this clock and that does nothing so don't hit this clock just hit alt and then hit the clock and then this will come down and it'll say expression so what we want to do is we want to type in wiggle yes it said wiggle so wiggle and then you want to do parentheses and then you want to do um, I'm just gonna go for or I'm just going to exaggerate it just to show you guys. I'm going to do four, five, fifty-five. Um, someone explained to me what the numbers mean, but I'm not really sure. And just play around with the numbers. And um, if you don't like the fact that, if you really want to know what those numbers mean, uh, you can look it up. But to me, it just like the first number it moves, it it makes it how like how how many times it moves. I think in one second. Or in one frame and then the last number is how much how like how far it moves so yeah we're gonna do 555 55 is kind of big so I'm gonna do 35 so um, this might you know we just see so as you can see it's like going really hard and that's probably because of the five so let's bring let's bring this down to three and I'll sh it'll it'll wiggle less Still the same distance, but it'll wiggle less in one frame. So as you can see, that looks good and I like it. But my clip is already um, zoomed in. So a lot of times you'll have to still do this and I'm gonna show you guys. So you wanna hit this again, you wanna click this source name and then you wanna hit S, it'll bring up scale. And my scale is already set to go like, to zoom in. But a lot of times when you add the wiggle, it'll wiggle in like that and you'll see those black bars, you know? So it'll wiggle like that. And what you, all you wanna do is just scale up just a little bit and then it'll, it'll make it so like you'll still get the bounce, but you won't, the black bars won't come in. So yeah, guys, 
that is it i'm going to take this out hopefully to get it back to its original way that it was yep and it was just like that so once you do that all you want to do is is hit file and then save and it'll save and you can just minimize that and then you come back in the premiere and you'll have that wiggle see and then your boring footage will look less boring but that's it guys that is how you add a little bit of fake camera movement in your shots using after effects if you like this video and you like these tutorials me breaking down some of my own videos I probably won't break down other people's videos because it's not really my intention but if you do have questions or is there anything you want to learn just uh, comment in the comments below and I can take a look at it if I know how to do it I might make a tutorial on it but for right now if you enjoyed this video just hit a hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one